Today's case is Hope Elanaru. Hope everyone is doing great. Alright, today is day. Shit. Today is day 3. Did I say 4 on the paper? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. This is not day 4. Today is day 3 here in Pondicherry. You know, sometimes if you get too creative, kabi kabi, your mind doesn't work. Anyways, time is around 11.23 in the afternoon. The thing is, I did not get up now. I woke up like early in the morning itself at around 6. 5.30. Yes, 5.30. The reason for that is we did this. Right now the time is 6 a.m. and the reason both of us came to the beach is to do a morning jog. <laughs> to see this. Yo. I rarely get up so early in the morning, but some days it's really worth it. Look at us, we are literally standing oh, here. Okay, we are going back home. Unfortunately, the sunrise didn't come. I mean, the sunrise came obviously, but a lot of cloud cover and a lot of fog and humidity. So, me and Shiva are going back, trying to go have some coffee and then go back to the room, have some breakfast and let's see what Pondicherry has to offer today. Shiva disappointed. Kismet! Suraj Suraj pe likha hai dekhne wale ka naam. All others as usual, especially Shiva, he went to the swimming pool and anyways it's really hot outside. Till 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we try to stay indoors. After 4 o'clock, we get out and explore Pondicherry a little bit. You know, for us bikers, it's always and most of the times it's about the ride and not exploring the place. That is one downside of being a biker. Reason being, you're already tired and most of the times you feel stressed. And more importantly, more than all of this, the thing is, you don't have enough time. We take like 3 or 4 days off and come and then in this 3 for this it's very difficult to explore everything we're trying to see the best we can let's say schedule a pura naiva once my friends come from the swimming pool then we'll probably plan something and get out mm, where's so kishor went to the swimming pool again yeah enjoyed remo <laughs> See, this is the room I'm talking about. A very huge room compared to ours. Three people are sharing this room. That is the reason it's a bit huge. I am sharing only biscuit packets. <laughs> Shivan is sugar dose. Bon Chaitanya is not feeling well. I don't know. Acidity? Malay acidity. I don't know. You know the idea. You're feeling better now. Better. You're feeling better? No. He slept at 9 o'clock. Time is 11.30 now. <laughs> Good. Tomorrow you'll ride like properly. By the way, tomorrow we're returning back. <laughs> In this trip, we have been calling uh, Chetanya Ratnadeep Supermarket. Reason for that is, hey, <laughs> people, who, people who make fun of it should not have it. This Are is he... half now. The day he came, <laughs> it was completely packed. What is the amount of stock you bought? 2000 rupees worth of biscuits? <laughs> Protein bars, biscuit packets, Nutri Choice, Fox's candy, Britannia pineapple with jam biscuits. Hey, drop pillow, dar. Yoga bar, yoga just swara highway pe na. Chala the chaadu pillado. Inta option to nae deli do. Mind your road door ko inne. Okay, Chetan, do you think anyone will come? I don't know, man. Last minute notice. I think we gave what one hour notice. Half an hour note. Yeah, and it's so hot. I don't think people will come. I'm thinking no one is gonna turn up. So I told Chetana, let's go down and check if anyone came. And then. Woo! 
One second, is that bad? I thought one or two will come. Yeah, this, I paid. Yeah, yeah. I paid. <laughs> Ten rupees per person. Leo, Vicky, Sarah, Ranjit, Sai Viraj, Sai Viraj, Suman, Makan, Makan, Tarun, Tarun, Karthik, Karthik, Tarun, Tarun, Gilbert, Gilbert. Arun. He is not my subscriber yet. From today, he is my subscriber. No, he just subscribed now. John. John. Sorry for the interruption guys, actually after that meetup uh, there was nothing much really interesting to show you so I did not vlog really well after that, I'll be honest and uh, also two things happened, first thing is our Nareshka Royal Enfield got punctured so we had to call the Royal Enfield mechanics and firstly thumbs up to them because within one and a half hour they came, they took the tire, got it repaired, that is one thing and second thing we went to the beach once again, Rock Beach, we really love that place, one of the best places to hang out and we also explored that French colony and all that really amazing place if you go in the morning especially in monsoon season or winters you will get some amazing pictures dekhte dekhte raat ho gaya and then we decided to just go eat some dinner we took out the bikes and went into the interiors of pondicherry like we explored market places and all that we were just riding through the streets the core streets of pondicherry really like that part so that was the end of the third day and next day we had to leave from the title you have already got an idea of what happened before going to that directly this is how our day began Now this is the toughest part, taking all this luggage down to the bike, especially me, I have to take my box, top box, which is 200 kilos. <laughs> Somebody was calling me as a typewriter box. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving now from Pondicherry should be taking us. No, first we are going to Mahabalipura. It seems Hamara Chetana wants to eat something special there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is that restaurant? Uh, Are the restaurant entra? Moonrakers. Huh? Moonrakers. Moonrakers. Manu or breakers. Rakers. Moonrakers. Moon Manu recommended it. She went there. His few... wife, Manu, mm -hmm. recommended yeah. it. Moon she went there a few Moon weeks breakers. ago with her colleagues. She loved it, so she recommended it. So, so if it's good, thanks to Manu. If it's bad, thanks to thanks Manu. Manu. <laughs> <laughs> if it's bad. Manu is saying Manu. something to you. Mina saying something Manu. bad. <laughs> we are going through ECR road to Mahabalipuram from there. It's about 100 kilometers from here. Yeah, 96 yeah. kilometers. It should take us max 1, 1 hour, 30 minutes. And from there, we are planning to stay there for some time after lunch. Maybe for 3 hours, 2 Until hours. We don't want to ride in the afternoon. We'll push out at 3 hours. extreme heat. Huh? We'll push out at 3 hours. For your then. kind information, this is already afternoon. 12.30. It is 12.30 right now. By the time we go, it will be 1.30. 2, 132. 132. Then we'll take rest till 3.30 and then 3.30 go. Hyderabad. 3 .30 to 3 .30. Direct Hyderabad. Don't Hopefully. <laughs> and from here, it's 800, 810 kilometers Hyderabad. 14 hours, 15 hours including breaks. Naresh will be going to Vijayawada by the way. He is not coming along with us. Naresh and I think uh, even Kishore. Very nice hotel, good service, excellent food. Pachaya? Yeah. A unique name, Pachaya. Thanks to him. <laughs> Usually when we go travel like this all over India, we go to nice star hotels. Okay. And we don't get parking. I mean they don't allow us to park like this, okay. our bikes. Okay. Thanks to and super thumbs up to Crossway Hotels. Yes, they let us park our bikes in the lobby. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna leave Jelly and we'll not create a mess here and traffic jam. So, thank you for thank that. You. Thank you. Already all set, leaving now from this nice place. I'll definitely, definitely recommend this place. 4 out of 5. 4.5 out of 5 for sure. Not just because they allowed us to park the bike here, but actually the service was good. I mean, I didn't find any complaints with the hotel. So, uh, in case you're coming to, uh, what is this, Pondicherry, definitely stay here. Wear my gloves here. Yeah. Uh, this buffoon did not like it. He needs everything perfect. Thank you so much. And uh, there will be little bit of traffic to get out of the city, any city for that matter. Right now time is exactly 12.30. Half an hour late, we thought we will leave by 12 sharp. It's okay, 12.30, uh, 1 hour to... Uh, Mahabali, Mahab, Mahabalipuram. I'm always confused between Mahabalipuram and Mahabaleshwar. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, nice, nice. Beautiful. Look at this view. This is a view I saw in Kanyakumari. Kanyakumari mein SH view. Same. This is the ECR road. And it goes right beside the ocean. Look at it. Beautiful, man. Woo! Wow, 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 wow. This is something. Check this view out, man. It is very rare to find such places. I mean, where you can get your bike right beside the sea. This is amazing. Amazing, amazing, zing, zing. Place. This is one place you shouldn't be missing at all. In case you're doing your ride from Ma uh, Pondicherry, Pondicherry to Maha Balipuram, Maha Balipuram, you have to go via ECR and stop here for clicking pictures. Or in case you're going in the evening, it'll be a lot of fun. Nice weather. But right now it's sunny. But Hamara Shiva is doing some cinematic photo sessions here. <laughs> She's dancing. There you see Ma Mamallapuram 81. Anyways, I think Mahabalipuram is also this way, and it says ECR Scenic Highway. <laughs> oh man, very nice road. But only thing is, it's a single lane. I have to be careful with oncoming traffic. Rat me, a problem hoga because you know the usual thing, high beam and all that. So all the ride was fun and happiness till this incident happened. I, I don't remember the exact time but somewhere around 1, 1.30 it was the worst day of my life. Like literally. I've done thousands of kilometers, I have good experience in biking but today was something that really really shook me up. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Digipendra Mottam Bandi. Chala Gatti Gudin and Kakeli. Are you pull it, right? pull it, Samne. Let's see. The right leg, though. Everyone needs to pull it. Sir, what type of pull? 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 I saw, I didn't understand what's happening. Hello, all what car? Handle what con? Handle. Con the one, this what con? Here, here, this. One, two, pull. Yeah. No, no, better, better. This one. This one. This No, no, no problem, but you should go a little slow. That is there, but still, little bit slow, Jana. No, we are all fine, we are all fine. Some water? No, no, it's okay. We have water. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it. Sure, sir. We'll stop, Samne, we'll take it. Thank you, sir. No, that's okay. We have, we have, we have, we have. All good, all good, all good. Huh? 
లేదు సీరియస్లీ ఎట్లా గుద్దిండే సా డ్యామ్ 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 లక్కీ ఓన్లీ ఐ నో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్ పీచే ఎట్లుండే తెలుసా నాకు నాకు అర్థమైతలే షర్ట్ ఐ థింక్ ఐమ్ రియలీ రియలీ డ్యామ్ లక్కీ ఆ సీరియస్లీ డార్క్ హార్ట్స్ డార్క్ హార్ట్స్ ఐఎమ్ గెటింగ్ టియర్స్ సీరియస్లీ ఐమ్ గెటింగ్ టియర్స్ షర్ట్ so because i don't have the footage i unfortunately just just like 3 minutes before this incident i switched off the camera and i started talking to my friends on the sena we were all enjoying the ride they were singing songs and then out of nowhere i see someone trying to overtake me and then exactly samne se by the way this is a single lane road so we have vehicles coming in the opposite direction people overtake like fools including me we do that but yeah this innova was coming straight at me so i was slowing down there was the swift guy in that lane in the opposite lane first i hear this crazy screeching sound and then boom suddenly there was this huge thump on my bike my bike goes samne there was a second thump actually this guy hit me once at 110 or 120 km an hour i was at 60 or 70 kmph and then this guy trying to avoid a head on collision he came back into the lane the swift guy and bumped into me my heart started pounding bike goes left right left right mere niche i am not able to control it second thump I think out of panic he hit the accelerator instead of the brakes panic mein hota hai it held my bike like properly thanks to the tiger's quality thanks to trans quality I, I don't have words here you've seen the damage done but one thing guys at that particular moment I got ready to go <laughs> like seriously good thing is I did not panic did not slam the brakes did not throttle out nothing bike was swaying around I stood on the foot pegs try to control the sway and while that was happening I was thinking let me jump like if the bike is going to topple let me push myself out of the bike jump into the fields i'm pretty sure i would get hurt really bad if i did that luckily the car held me and the bike came to a standstill and first thing i check myself if everything is fine not a scratch touch wood <laughs> and the funny thing is not a scratch on the tiger we pulled it out and then <laughs> we saw the kind of damage that happened to the car the tiger literally tore the car apart pura ghusa diya tiger like literally 6 or 7 inches it went inside simply pulled out the bike put it on center stand started the bike and <laughs> we came back to hyderabad without a scratch also after thank the tamil nadu police they were really helpful he asked me to put a case i was like i am safe the bike is safe let's get out if there was a huge damage then definitely i might have booked the case chalo guys so i keep saying this millions of people don't make it to the next day we feel worried about our bills how to do this how to do that what is life will start our life next year nothing guys your life is already started start living it be very happy that you are alive today even me when i did this particular scene i set up the camera got up from bed at this particular moment did i even think that my day is going to be like this no your life is not at all predictable we are all very weak human beings a small 3 inch incision can kill a human being it's we are so delicate so one advice forget about all the negativity all the downsides in life just feel happy that you are alive today live your life to the fullest live for the moment live for today not tomorrow or don't think about the past and ruin your present i know you might have read quotes on facebook or anywhere like these but this is reality we are not actors i am not an actor now the vlog that you're watching till now it's real there are no stand doubles here this is what actually happened to me this is reality so then let's go ahead and continue with the vlog it's okay let's forget this things happen when you get out of your safe zone obviously you're getting out of your safety all these things happen get ready for that and face life in its eyes some of my friends my relations they asked me why are you doing all this stuff it's so dangerous look what happened you know one thing i told them <laughs> it's funny but it's a fact sri devi the actress sri devi did not did not have a bike she did not own a tiger not did she go to pondicherry she died literally in a washroom what i'm trying to say is if someone's time comes it doesn't matter if you're on a bike or if you're in a washroom or if you're in a safe bedroom if your time comes that's it i strongly believe in that and just go ahead with life so chill maro go enjoy your life sir.